Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We've got a few uh, notes of unfinished business here. Paulette, a couple episodes ago, got struck by lightning. I, I, last time I forgot to check up on her. Lightning injury is still there, and no sense of a countdown, so I'm thinking that's permanent. So always 25%, uh, 20, plus 25 in pain, and minus 25 both in movement and manipulation. So she's no longer available for long distance runs, but her primary job is cooking at the moment, so that still works fine for there. What's that doing for her? long term pain is only a negative nine so if we just keep her constantly eating her own cooking she'll be fine <laughs> she's got her own room now um paula transporting okay um <clears throat> slept in a comfy bed and uh, it doesn't say oh slept in a spacious bedroom plus 18 so that's enough to offset the other ones yeah um i I guess she's the one that I queued up to haul all this in and put it in the freezer, and it'll uh, it'll last until we need it again. Um, what else? I'd set up Edmund and Kana to start writing their short stories again. They both have the ability to give everybody else a great plus 18 bonus every day, and we just kind of forgotten all about it. Joe Chang wrote in to suggest that we get a research desk into Umar's room because you know he does the researching but I would really like to get this guy built now there's long term that's I mean we're gonna have to wait for, to find the parts yeah but with him out here instead of his bedroom he then gets access to Kana who's usually in these three and Simon and it'd be interesting to watch long term what the relationship uh, status is between the three of them if they spend more time together so i thought about doing you know the suggestion of getting a a desk in his room but i think i'm going to decide against that i want him out here in the common room and interacting with folks as they constantly move through paulette as well she's gonna be here all the time in fact has that helped at all not hasn't helped at all but give it some time <laughs> Anyway, um, kind of pauses. I want to just talk for a bit. Um, so those will stay there, and we need to get some more alloys, which are all cooking right now, to get the last of our vents done. I took the new battery and the new um, heat pump off of current construction tasks so we can concentrate on this guy which means we need to get a lot more scavenging done which gives us a chance a hopefully better chance of finding electronics and cpus and power cells and what have you um we know rita is going to be checking in soon she took off last time i think i want to get edmund off and to the same mission that she's on and see the difference between her low physical uh, skills and his how much higher physical skill? She's a two? Is it going to tell me easily? No. Physical two. Edmund, physical five. I thought we had a six in here somewhere. Carter's a five. And run them here. Nope, it's just fives. Okay. Um, so we'll send him off to compare to her trip. Um, also, I think we ended up last episode putting in this lightning rod click there we go yeah there's rita checking in so i went ahead and dropped another one over here so we can get better coverage during storms so that is come on boy it's hard to click on those oh so close come on there and we have another one there so there's our lightning coverage down here and up in here, we've got this guy, this guy, and that is it. I guess eventually later, we could get another one over here, another one over there. As we, ah, as we, I almost did this between episodes and I stopped myself. As we think about fencing in our compound and... Possibly just redirecting attacks. They 
those that last attack ro walked right through us, and Dog was in the way, and that was his doom. But I suspect if it's anything like RimWorld, the enemies are going to just want to take the path of least resistance. Which means we could even go in with a cheap little fence like this. Just sticks. The same one we've got built here. And just leave openings where we want the enemies to, well the bugs, to easily track through. So, I'm going to play with something this episode. We'll, we'll see what, what it does. But first, let's check in with Rita. What have we got? I was about to start inspecting the debris when I heard a rummaging noise. I froze in place, listening to the clanking of metal and the huffing and puffing of whatever creature was on the other side of a huge pile of stone and debris. What to do now? <laughs> I just sent you to go find a railgun sniper, that's all. It may be something dangerous, come back. Jump out of your cover and surprise the creature. Try to take a peek at what is making the noise. Hmm. Surprise it, make it run away. Or surprise it and not survive the encounter. Or I think Rita would do so cautiously. That makes sense. I see a huge insectoid creature trying to dig out something from underneath a pile of scrap metal. Get out of there or fight it off. Go fight it off. With the element of surprise on my side, I leapt at it and scared it good. It fled limping and I got to see what it was so intent on digging out. It turned out to be an almost completely rotten corpse. I buried the poor soul as deep as I could and scavenged some scrap. Ah, uh, darn. Okay, come on back. So we got a small amount of scrap coming. Okay. And I saw that Edmund had just finished writing. Where did he drop off the stories? Which of... There they are. Right there. Okay. So that is that he's going to eat. And then I think we'll send him out. Maybe. Lost Harvest. Ah, that's over there. Yeah, when Rita gets back, she's... Oh? Never mind. You have just become hunted. Dude. Okay, Carter. You are up. You are transporting. You are... Oh, you... Edmund's really our hunter with, with Rita gone. Okay. You're getting something to eat, and then you're going to go hunt. Okay, go do that. And then, yeah, Rita needs to get those and these done, and, and the pumpkins done, and there's probably who knows what else out there. Yeah, I, I did flag a whole bunch of the smoke leaf. Since we never got around to plant any this season, we may as well harvest what's already out here. So, that is that. Um, let's let this thing run. Let's concentrate on... So, you are doing what now? You're just transporting those ten. All right, let's get you to eat. Did, was there something particular you liked? You like bread. Is that a thing? It's a thing. You eat some bread, and then I want you to scavenge, to salvage this one, and scavenge this one. And let's see. And then, I think there'll be time. Why don't you scavenge this one as well? Go ahead and run that circuit. Um... Edmund, what to do? Oh, you were gonna, we're going to send you out. That's right. So you are going to go hunting, and then we'll get you gone. We have fuel in the balloon, but I want that taken out, and you've got the the pistol. Whereas everybody else has got ka-chink, 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 crossbows. All right, hunting a gulch, and you're in range, and it does not run away like the humming flies did. Or you were just constantly chasing it. Okay, so when you're done, you will most likely butcher. I'd like to see if that's the thing. Come on, one more. One more. Wow. Okay. So you're going to butcher that one, and then I want you to take off. So, expedition. That was right here. Armory Bay. Can I? I can't until Rita gets back. Ah, okay. Spaceship debris, cruise ship debris, explore. 
Fly the balloon high and look around for points of interest. New expedition sites may be unlocked as a result. Each consecutive exploration takes more time. Still only three hours. We could have you there and right back. Don't know if you get anything. Hmm. Are we still running? We are. Hmm. Think about that one. So, researching. I really want this going. <clears throat> Kana, you are where, what, and why. You are going to start working on a... I think it's a CPU. So, did you finish the railgun sniper? What happened there? Weapons. No. No one stole your CPU cord, did they? Railgun sniper. Um... <clears throat> It's just not first on the list. I guess that's what's going on. If I do this, will you rethink your life? There you are. Assembling railgun sniper is dropping on the floor. <laughs> so we're going to go put that away. <laughs> yeah, I guess shutting the episode down and restarting, you kind of rethought your life and went on a different list of priorities. Okay, well, we're going to get that one built this time. Edmund is transporting bug meat. And, oh, Simon is handling a fermentation barrel. He's getting more fuel going. Okay, so, oh, because there's no crafting to do. Unless I up the other supplies. We still have cloth. How many feathers do we have in stock right now? Are they all rotted away? We have a hundred. Let's get this going. There's... Let's use the feathers up because they have an expiration date. A thousand cloth. So, Simon, you're doing that. Edmund, clearing construction sites. You're going where? You're going all the way out there. All right. Let's, let's send you on a, on a baby mission then. So, we'll send you on this quick one. See what happens. Edmund, send, go. And Edmund, draft, undraft. You are, where did, you... there you go. So you are heading in here. Which number moves? Something moved down there. You grab some bread. Okay. And you are out of here. Simon is getting all the new fuel going. After this one, he will, I guess he already had it in his list. Yeah, another handle and another handle. So you're probably heading here next. And yeah, it's probably okay. I mean, we do need to get everything up and running. So, yeah, I'll leave you alone. Um, we've been bringing a lot of hides back. Meat has been dealt with or completely rotted away. I wonder... They just might automatically move from take from here to get this loaded up again. That's quite possible. Uh, we're losing pumpkins, aren't we? This one? 35%. Yeah, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty, pretty nasty in there. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Um, how do we deal with that? Cooking. Let's move something that takes butter melons a little bit higher in the list. Let's do that. And over here, uh, the fruitcake was berries. Buttermelon pie, fruits flambe. You are berries, okay. Uh, buttermelon pie. Guess that's it. So, pickling would use them up. And pickling is, has met its... Until 400, so we can still do it. Which is probably what Simon will be doing next. Likely. Okay. Bricks. Concrete. I did ask to have some concrete made so we can get the ability to put blueprints out. So, okay. So everyone's got something to do. Edmund is gone. Carter is constructing power poles. And Kana is assembling. Carter, you didn't do the salvaging. You didn't. Okay, and there's nothing here that indicates you ever did. Okay. Well, then let's stop fighting it, and let's just check your list here. 
So Carter is going to hunt first. He's going to construct next. Then he's going to deliver. And then he's going to handle. <clears throat> and then cut. And then eventually scavenge. All right, let's take this down to his next two. So after construction and hunting, he will drop into it. Which means these poles and he's done. There is no other construction that we have the supplies for left. Okay, so he will get to that. Um, what I was, although, what I was about to say was, let me start working on this perimeter fence, but as soon as I do that, he's never going to get to the scavenging because he will be working on perimeter fences. Yeah. Okay. So, Carter, you, your fullness is fine. Let's get you out here immediately to salvage and to scavenge. And even do this, though you may not get to that completely. So, you do that. And now, let's think about this perimeter fence. I'm thinking something that... Hmm. I want to utilize the existing fences, and eventually we'll, we will rebuild these. If I can figure out how to put a gate. Can we put a gate on top of this guy right here? Defense. This kind of a gate here. Wait a minute. Back up. A people gate. Not... Yeah, it's not that kind. Fence door, that's what I'm talking about. So, can I put you on here? I cannot. Darn it. Okay. So, he straddles two squares. So, I would have to do you clear up in there if I wanted to gate this off. Okay. I have to think about how to deal with this area right here. Otherwise, I think we're shooting right through here. And... Exploration complete. So, he's already gotten there. Edmund. Where's a pathway through here that doesn't wipe out too many trees? This one is just set for observation. In fact... Oh, we are. You are reading a short story. Okay. And that will top you off there. I'd rather you had something to eat. You're starving. Why do they do that? You'd think they'd... Go to their lowest number and take care of it. Um, why don't you go eat some bread and then think about things. But let's have you come out here and just get this done. Observe the big leaf tree and it gets it off our list. Um, Edmund. All right. If my eyes do not deceive me, there is a spaceship's brain. I see a little ways off. The remains of a supercomputer that could hold very valuable resources. Go there immediately or get back, come back from now. Immediately becomes what? We're still paused? Yeah. Dismantling the supercomputer is a delicate process which can't be done hastily. I managed to pull out some CPU cores without damaging them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come on back. So, we're one step closer to getting this workbench done. Great. Or, research bench. So, <clears throat> this could be relocated. What's our pathway here? I'm thinking it's right alongside. And we'll start, once we get this guy observed, we can start uh, planting our own trees where we want them to be. So up this path here, pretty much through this area here, and then probably right through here. And I want to know if we can do it in a cheap little fence like this, if the goal is just to redirect them into a place that is more convenient to travel. So if we were to take you, shoot you through somewhere into there... And let's see, grab that one. Here we go. Copy. And let's take you there. Well, that's interesting. Same fence. Oh, I see. It goes through the middles. That's right. So I just I'll just grab right there then. Copy. Click. Okay. One down like so. And like so. Okay. 
And then... If we figure out how to deal with these openings, we can count this fence as done. So I'm thinking it's through here somewhere, but I guess it could be right through here. Yeah, it could. You... Where to exactly? Down low or up above? Let's go for here for the moment. And it's probably right there. So all of you guys cancel. You copy. Like so out into something like that and connect the dots. Okay. As far as a main entrance, it's somewhere in here. I think whatever our permanent defensive structure, if we want to play with this idea again, is in this corner. It's a matter of how do you get there. If we built something kind of like this and then took a pathway over there and out here to give us two runs of turrets attacking them before we have to deal with what's left. That kind of makes sense. You copy how wide. And there's a lot to do to really design this thing. Platforms for them to stand on, uh, different layers of fencing to protect the equipment. So we could go something, say, this wide. And I guess there. And then another. Like so, something along those lines. Let's go just one notch wider. Which means... An opening over here. Something more significant. Significant doesn't really matter right now because they can bust through at any point if they really want to. So that's probably not an issue at the moment. So let's go just for something like that. Hmm. Probably like so if we want to have flamethrowers or something in this direction going like so as they're making the corner. Hmm. So something like that is begin to corral us in and them out or something, you know, vice versa. Don't know how to deal with this yet. Probably don't need to. We'll be a couple of episodes just building that. Yeah. Let's play with this as a beginning blueprint be a lot of modifying to do after this and we'll need the convenience of getting through this this fence at different places too so fence door oh off in this direction somewhere and we've got three openings over there already probably want to head off in this direction at some point and for convenience somewhere over here and probably also a quick, easy way to get out and up the hill. That will go through, but bugs won't. Yeah, something like that. So there's a beginning. Uh, materials, we still need those guys, the electronics, as soon as Khan is done with that. Or as soon as Carter finds one in a rack. Though lately... It's rare that he's found anything but scrap metal. He found fabric one time, and and uh, I think Paulette's stun gun came from from there too. But we'll we'll see what he can pull off. Otherwise, Paulette is making somebody was idling. Uh, Umar skipped my command on purpose. Yep, that happens a lot. I've noticed that. When I tell someone to go and research something that's been queued up for a long time, they go to idling, then they quit. And I've, I've had that happen several different times now. Now, if I tell him to go and do the next tree over, it'll be fine. Yep, he's going to go do it. So something about this guy sitting there for 
for so long after I... Oh, it no longer says observe, even though it's highlighted. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that now. Only R is idling. He will not turn off the highlight. Huh. Okay, well, you come on over and observe this one. And if we can't get rid of the blue, we'll just cut it down. <laughs> All right, so that is... I'm hearing noises. Is there a balloon coming in? I thought I was hearing kind of a, a flaming, torching noise. Oh, well, guess not. What was I saying? I don't know. How are we looking up above? Nothing has come back to, to haunt this place or moved in overnight. That's good. We do need to get up here and do some more mining. Though, theoretically, we have enough to get this guy built. We were just lacking the... Uh, Oh, we've already reset them. I think we have. We were lacking the alloys. So what are we actually doing here? We have our fuel, and we're just waiting for this to arrive so we can start working on those. Okay. Simon, you are crafting, because I wanted you to use up those bird feathers. Okay. And now we shouldn't need to go out and... Who is that one? Rita? Yeah, Rita's back. You found 40 scrap. Why don't you grab that? Shouldn't need to go look for feathers anymore. That was a, a band-aid, but it's not necessary now. There's too many steps in between when now we've got our own. So Rita's going to drop that off, and then she's going to... Heck, I'm kind of questioning while I'm saying this whether or not I want even Simon to deal with that. There's so many other things to do, and we've got... 678 of it now. We're going to use what per square? Soft carpet 2. Yeah. Let's pull that off your list. Where is that one? Here. Feathers. Let's pause you. Okay. There we go. So Simon, you're going to grab something to eat. Rita, you are transporting 10. You really did that, didn't you? Rita, are you doing? Okay, you need food and you need rest. Come on, get something to eat first and then go to bed. So grab a buttermelon pie. Just dump the scrap metal. That that failed utterly. Simon will probably pick it up. He'll probably jump into all the the local tasks. I want Rita to get some sleep. And then maybe do a little bit of harvesting before she uh, goes to bed for the night. So let's see if we can give her a nap. Edmund's back. And that was a great find. I wonder if we can do that again. Constructing lightning rod. No, I want you to haul these. And can you haul all of them? You did this time. Good. Um, Edmund, can we do that again? You need to rest. Let me first thing in the morning. Let's we'll see if we get a bug attack notice. That was a quick little trip. Three hours there, three hours back. So it says it gets longer each time. So were these red before? No balloon fuel. Okay. Pause. So explore is now four hours, but still it's a pretty quick little trip. Okay. What was that? Discovered a big broadleaf tree. Great. Now we can plant those things where we want them. Which will be nice. So let's just mark you for... Take you down. Cut. And uncut. It still stays lit. And there's nothing that needs it gone as far as other construction. So it's just, it's flawed now. So, in fact, that could even become a, a bug in the save later eventually. So let's make sure that gets taken out. Uh, Carter is scavenging. Oh, good. Did you, how you doing, Carter? You need food? You kind of need food. Um, total happiness, though. Let's let you make one more run. And then I'll, I'll pull you back. So, what did you find? That 43, was that Carter? I guess it was. Rita's was 
40. 10 and 30, yeah. So he found scrap metal. Uh, Edmund is going to construct. That's fine. Is there any wood down here? There is wood down here. So these poles, he won't have to walk all the way back up here to get the building materials. Okay. And we're going to need to get the cutting done soon if we're going to start laying out this fence and see how it interacts with the next bug fe uh, bug attack. Um, so we need to figure out how to gate this. And it won't let us do it anywhere near this stuff. Would it be wiser just to build a different fence somewhere? Right up against the house? Nah, I'd like to have a little bit of a buffer between the house and attacks. So these fences in here kind of feel like that. Hmm. I'm not sure. I have a feeling that they can just step right up onto this, so building it to the side of this doesn't feel like it's accomplished anything. I don't know. Well, I'll think about that between episodes or wait for comments to come in. Otherwise, quarrel, quarrel with Paulette about hunting techniques. Poor Paulette. She just... Now, nah, Umayar is out here and, and she just can't find a friend, can she? Carter, you still like Edmund, your son, even though he doesn't care for you at all. Yeah, and you like Paulette. Okay. Uh, no one for Rita, no one for Simon. Edmund gets along with Simon. So it's Kana and Umayar still. We'll see if that ever turns into something. Where was that? There it is. So the thought was to eventually come through here and, and plant... What's the new thing? Trees and bushes. So we could plant... A nice tree. Oops. Actually, cancel that one. And extend, so two spaces over. Right there, and some nice bushes, and maybe some of the... What's the purple called? Uh, farming skin bark in behind. There. Scavenge 32. Extend. There. Skin bark back there is a backdrop and some other colors around and and yeah, maybe some seating in here and have a nice little chapel in the woods. So Carter is scavenging still. Can he do this? He is average mood. Yeah, let's let's well, it's already midnight though. Let's pull off. You go grab something to eat and go to bed. You can try again tomorrow. So Edmund is... I don't see it. There you, do. there you are. So Edmund, you're going to go to bed. You... Rest is your big thing. Actually, let's have you grab a buttermelon pie. And maybe sit and talk with Paulette. And Carter will be heading in. Do we get another one of these built? What did it take to build those? So that this generator doesn't have to keep running like that. Um, it's not science. Is that production? No. Electric. Power. There you are. You take electronics. And that's where we're lacking on the other things. So no, I'm not going to put that in the list. Alright, so Edmund. Carter. Didn't quite line you guys up to have conversations, did we? No. Nope. So you're going to bed, and when you get up, you're going to take off and t take another trip. Do that four-hour trip, see what happens. Do we have fuel in there yet? We do not, and we do not. So Edmund, your first chore when you get up tomorrow will be to refuel. We are at four in the morning. Sunrise has not happened. We are halfway through summer. Huh. It's interesting how right now is when you would expect that uh, the sun to be rising the very earliest. I guess we're going to be close to five 
before this really gets going. Um, what's left in here? Salvage one and scavenge one. So we've got plenty of, of runs and all three of those left. Okay. We've got aggressive animals three. Scarabai and overgrown Scarabai. Three? With that last update, the uh, the attacks have kind of gotten a lot easier. At least easier in numbers. So maybe these big ones count as... Well, they're five times as strong as the little ones. So that's the equivalent of 15 little ones attacking us. Oh, did I just not read it all? There's a whole bunch of them here. What? 39 and counting. Okay, that's a little more like it. <laughs> um, we can kind of pick these off before they get here. We probably can. Hmm. They're going to... Well, they're probably going to eat these guys, so... I was thinking they're going to do some hunting for us. Let's everybody sleep. Let's get everybody's moods up. Just don't let anybody out there going off doing their own things. These guys are all running away. You're probably... Well, they've only got you once. You, the same. You're not bleeding out. Okay. How are we doing here? Edmund is handling a hot air balloon, and he's not taking off. He's got the pistol, so I need him to hang around. Uh, you're done, and you're done. Simon is transporting the rest of Rita's scrap metal. Rita's waking up. I want everybody to grab a meal. Yeah, they're just going to pester those guys like fleas on a dog. Yeah. All right. So let's get everybody eating. Simon is transporting to there. What are you going to do next? You're going to grab something to eat. Good. So Carter, you... Over here. Oh, you're just waking up. Okay. So, drinking is probably going to enhance... Oh, you're going to... Where did I see drinking? You said drinking, and then you changed your mind. You're going to go relax. Okay. Paulette is in pretty good shape already. Rita is rough, and she's harvesting. So, Rita, leave the harvesting for now, and come on out here and grab some buttermelon pie. Get some food in you, and... Maybe sit down and relax for a moment. Simon is going to be in great shape. Edmund needs... Where's Edmund doing? There's an Edmund here somewhere. You're drinking something. Okay. Once you get that figured out... I think you'll be okay. Kana... Drinking... So, does drinking do anything for their fullness? I kind of think it does not. They still need to get something to eat. Yeah, so still grab some bread and grab some... some buttermelon pie. Umir, you're in good shape. Good. Nobody snuck out there. Good. How many... We've taken down and we are eating. Okay. Where is number three? There were three Olfen. Don't know if it's you or not. No. There were three Olfen that were being chased. You're probably out over here somewhere, aren't you? No. I don't know. But you don't look very good. But boy, now would be a great time to deal with them. Because half of them are scattered clear out over there. Hmm. Tempted to send someone out there and just take a shot. You know, I think it may be time to do just that. What's actually happening here? You're sitting, assembling, reading. So let's let Carter read. Umar was in great shape. Kana is assembling. You need some relaxation. Otherwise, you are in good health, or good mental health, we'll put it that way. Simon is total happiness. Leave Carter alone. 
Paulette's cooking. Paulette's got the stun gun. Rita, Edmund, Umayar, Kana, Simon. You guys draft. Come on out. We'll do the same tactic we did with the uh, the bug nests up there. Nail one and back up. And if we have to, we can fall back into here. Let's get this thing started. While they're kind of spread out. and Yeah. In fact, they're all... Oh, now they're all regrouping. Do they know something we don't? All right. Uh, Rita, who is your closest bug? Right there. Actually, right over here. Let's take you out. Well, you went a long way. You did. Okay. <clears throat> and shoot. Anybody else? Nobody else. I hate to spread them out all over the place, but... Alright, we attracted three. You guys get in here and back her up. We attracted eight. We attracted 257. <laughs> yeah, they're coming in fast. They're coming in really fast. Alright, guys, hop in here. <laughs> Maybe that was a mistake. Rita, Rita, I know you want to take that shot, but you don't have the time. Nope, 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 nope. She keeps stopping and turning around. Okay, that's a feature I'm not liking. All right, you guys hop back in. They seem to have uh, calmed down a bit. All right, so one's coming. Two, everybody. Take him out. Good. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's the problem. Sometimes they miss. All right, keep going. Everybody shoot at once. And boom. Just like that. Okay. Now it's time to get you guys in here. Yeah. So you guys left, draft, and come on down here. Let's get this thing going. You guys move in a little closer. And take him out. Got him. We trigger anybody else? We did not. So take him out. Actually, you guys just go here. Rita, take him out. It will be nice when that, that next railgun sniper's in here. In fact, Rita, you still have great life on yours. Still 82% of it. Hmm. Seems like when we first started the series, before the Tame and Train update, and we had four people and they all had railgun snipers, those guns were wearing out really fast. By episode 10, there was, you know, 70-80% of the life left. So, something else they must have balanced out with, with updates. Alright, so we're coming in. You guys are just coming down. Boom. Take them out. Nobody hit them. Okay, everybody back. And who is ignoring me? They're all going. And take them out. Good. Everybody back. So, animal attack 28. Oh. We, this is the real deal. We're done. Oh. Everybody get in there really quick. Carter, did you come? So, there's a Carter in there. There's a Paulette over there. Let's get everybody involved. And take them out. Okay. Everybody back in there. Go, go, go. Paulette is a lot slower after her lightning strike. We're going to need to protect Paulette. Good. Get in there. And that one just shifted to go after Paulette. Yeah. Okay. Guys, take him out. Okay. Get in. Oh, what was that? He took off quick. Paulette, you as well. Turn. Shoot this guy. Great. Get in here. Nope, Paulette. 
See, she's you're pulling a Rita. Get in there. Oh, ho, 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 we did it. <laughs> okay, let's get everybody in position. Paulette, you are right up here. Rita, you're back a little bit. You have better range. Um, Edmund, you're on a corner. Carter, you're on a corner. Simon. Um, hop into here. Umayar, you're there. And Kana, do we have you placed yet? I think we'll leave you right there till we figure out where we're lacking. Okay, everybody in place. Everybody's inside the walls. Haven't missed anyone. You're stunned. And there are no names out there, so I've got everybody in here. Okay. Come on in, in position. Traps are going to hold everybody for a while. Boom. Took him out. Take this guy out. Good. So we're at this end. Paulette. Where is she? I thought I put you on the cor front corner. And... Kana, you can dive into that space there. So far, so good. Damage brick fence. I saw that happen. It's this guy right here. So, Umiar, can you... Guess it'll just happen what happens. All right. Their point of view. Anybody still coming? Right there. Boom. We're done. Okay. Those are fun. Not so fun when they're, you know, six, eight feet tall and can reach over the brick wall. But uh, these, these attacks are kind of fun. So I'll clean up the mess and join you on the other side. Okay, so I decided to send some of them off to continue their normal duties rather than hold everybody hostage until the uh, the butchering is done. So we'll have Edmund, Simon, Umayar, I guess those three, deal with the butchering. Carter, you can continue scavenging. Paulette, continue cooking. Kana, let's get some electronics assembled. And Rita is invaluable as far as as harvesting so I really need her doing that and that should be fine Simon was just gonna be doing busy work anyway and Umayar researching Edmund is getting something to eat yeah I'll let him um, what is our research at the moment what are we up to flare shielding the game wouldn't throw two solar flares at us so close together would it nah so we can let that one go is there anything else that's Super important next. I'd say Pulse Rifles, though it's a three-day project. Uh, automated turrets, five days. Sensors, don't need them yet. Hmm. Not going to deal with the orbital radio for a while. Battery optimization, that would be nice. We'll pop those two in for now. And don't really need to deal with a pacifier just yet. Uh, synthetic armor is, is made from fuel to get the synthetic cloth. Versus carbon armor, which would be superior. And we have a whole bunch of carbon available now. But I would imagine it takes a long time to make the armor. So you're probably going to trade off on, on that. So Edmund, when you're done... You're... Okay. Get some relaxing in. And then get back down here. And continue... You were up in this area. Continue butchering. That'll bring you back over here. So my is transporting already. And that's a lot to trans transport. So okay, we'll let him uh, escape for now. Otherwise, you're in pretty good shape. Come on, right back down. And... Reserved by Kana. Oh. You just got to get her electronic uh, project f done first. Okay, so... And by Paulette. Interesting. Okay. 
So you'll just come down and start working on some of these other ones instead. And butcher. Paulette is idling. Oh, you came back? Wait a minute. You went off to start making food. <laughs> like they, they stop and recalibrate over and over again. Um, oh, you made the trip, so go ahead and have a ball. Carter's banging away. He's hungry. So after this, he'll just transport then go get something to eat. Okay. Alrighty, so you guys do your things. You are butchering and eight more butchering, so you got lots to do. I have a couple of uh, old folk over there to take care of, too. Kana's assembling. She's not far from being done. That gives us only one electronics, and I need three for this guy. Yeah, that's going to be a big thing. So Edmund was going to go off and do another quick... Let's have him do that. He's going to sit, and then he's going to go do this. So Expedition, we're going to go back to Supercomputer Debris. Ah, so there's more trips there? Remains of a spaceship's main computer. They can be scavenged for CPU cores indefinitely. Oh. But I need electronics, not CPU cores. So let's do this one. You, Edmund, send. Alright, we'll let you get your relaxation in, then we'll see if you trigger immediately to do that. Otherwise, we'll see if Carter can find one accidentally. So, Paulette is going to go pick things up after Simon. Why don't you just come on over and work on... Yeah. Work on this one. And work on this one. And Umiar is going to haul raw meat. Even though I changed your plan, you can still continue. And you need something to eat right now? Ah, you're kind of here. So, why don't you grab some bread, and then I'll send you back out there again. And grab some bread. Reserved by Edmund. Boy, just like that. Because Edmund is going on his expedition. Okay. Then, Umayar, why don't you grab some bush fruits? And go ahead and eat that. And then afterward, I want you back here. You can reset traps. You're able to do that. Is that all of them? Three more. Okay. So, Paulette, you are... You need something to eat. You're in good mood, though. So, if you get the command to transport meat, so we'll let you do it this time. Okay. Balloon took off. So, Edmund is gone. Yeah. Scavenge 48. Almost every time is just scrap metal. Roll of the dice is against us over and over again. Only R is handling traps. Carter's going to hold that in, then he's going to grab some food. Insufficient materials. Oh, need 34 more ore. Or uh, alloy. So let's do it this way. Alloy from scrap. Limit is reached in stock 20. Let's run one more time, which is going to do all of them. Okay. So Carter, now, nah, next episode we'll get those up and running. Those alloys are for the, uh, the carbon... Uh, freezer. Umair is handling traps. Paulette is going to grab some food. You're going to have these traps done in no time. And you're in decent shape now. You are. So after this, you go ahead and grab some more bugs. And what's left? Bug wise, I had sent Simon out to do all these other ones, and he's pretty much done. And he needs a meal. So who's had a chance to get a meal and can come out and finish. Kana is doing what right now? She could use some relaxing. 
Rita is harvesting, and I don't want to bother her. I'm thankful for what she gets out of the ground. We're done over here. Good. Pumpkins, though, I think might be wiser. So I'm afraid of her mixing them in with these other ones. Let's turn... Hmm. I guess if I just say the shelf is available for them again. Yeah. Okay. If we get the, the room cooled and stay cooled, then they can go anywhere. I don't want to mix in 100% with these... 34% and then suddenly end up with a bunch of 60%. You know, already half rotten because of the way that it, the game averages them when they stick them into the same pile in order to get these. I'm trying to think ahead. But, Rita, why don't you work on these tonight? They've been in the ground for quite a while as far as ready to, uh, to be harvested. So we have a few more projects out there still. That's a Carter thing, probably. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what are you? You are Hyde. You've been sitting there for a while. Okay. Got a bug. And we've got meat. Is that it? Just a bug and an orphan. Okay. Lost Harvest 25. Ah, uh, that's a Rita thing out in there. Okay. So, Carter, you are already butchering two bugs. Are you got this one as well? You do. Okay. Then you've got to figure it out. Though, when you're done... Well, somebody. You're transporting... You're turning bugs into fat already. Cart, or Simon. Because we've already loaded all these up, so nothing else to do with the bugs. Okay... Though, yeah, okay, good enough. You guys do what you're doing. So Rita's working there. We're down over here. We may have some repairing to do. Omar, can you get this last bug? Then you can haul in that bug meat. Yeah, so all the traps are reset. I can't work efficiently in this darkness. Yeah, I know, but you're almost done. And we've got bricks to clean up. Otherwise, we're done out here. Got all of our, our power poles in. Rita's taking a walk. And now she's harvesting cloth. Exploration complete. I detected one of the ship's data storage devices. These small modules containing bits of the ship's memory, flight logs, crew profiles, personal emails whatsoever. Um, go there immediately. Tell me you can get electronics. Data core. Data core. A large quartz-like column with a broken terminal was emitting dying dim light. I quickly figured out that this was part of the ship's library and accessed the emergency survival encyclopedia. I had already collected some notes when the data core went dark for good. Includes one breakthrough for research. This will benefit us. Hay cloth. Didn't really benefit us. <laughs> But thanks for the effort anyway. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're bringing in the last of the bug meat. Okay. Carter is appreciating a shroom torch. Dude. You'll survive. Get up here and butcher this guy. And then butcher him. And... And then we get different kinds of meats to bring in. Yeah. Paulette is eating. Simon is working on getting more fats in, in store for cooking, which is good. Wish we could find an excuse to use these pumpkins right here. Hmm. Uh, Rita, you are back to harvesting again. Okay. So that's been done. Once the harvesting is done, which is this group, well, that group, and all of these, then she can get back to planting. Which, mm, kind of running out of time to do the planting, aren't we? Otherwise, we're getting close to the end of an episode, aren't we? Yeah. Managed to get at least the results of three different expeditions into this, this episode. That was kind of fun. Butchering. 
Now let's get Simon, who is eating, to pick up those hides and these hides. See if you can do both of those. And let's get somebody else to come out and get the... Hmm... Not Paulette. So Carter, you're going to bring back bug meat. I need somebody to come back and get this meat here. Insufficient storage for... An unfinished project. Unfinished meal. So I guess that goes here. So you can now be other unfinished items. Okay. But why is it unfinished? You are an unused, unfinished buttermelon pie. Because you shifted over to something else. Interesting. So Paulette, when you're done... Well, device is being used. Maybe you'll pick it up automatically. We'll see. Anyway, Carter, I need to know that you're going to grab all those bug meats. Nope, you're not. So, Carter, you are going to haul. And you're going to grab the other one? Nope, and then you're going to... This is probably where I end up fighting a losing battle. You're going to haul, and you're going to ignore me. Yeah. Once they get to a certain point, you're total happiness, though. But you're just going to flat out ignore me. <laughs> okay. Whatevs. But I think that's probably the end of this episode, as far as getting anything accomplished. We're at midnight. They're all going to be wanting to go to bed soon. Umar is researching. Kana is... Let's see. She got... We don't have any acknowledgement that there is an electronic done. That's twice that it's felt like she had been working on something and nothing was accomplished. Is it just not registering yet? Did it get put into something? It got put away. There it is. Just need one more and this will be done. Okay. So once that's finished, I can open up all these other ones or even think about a, another solar panel and you know, distress signal. Looks like we got our marching orders for next episode. Site of a recent crash started emanating an automatic long-range distress signal. It may be coming from an emergency lifeboat or from a ship's flight recorder. Okay. Anyway, with that, are we done? I think so. Simon and Carter are on their way back in, and, and Rita's grabbing some needs. She's going to bed. Yeah, I think we're done. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.